A former Albuquerque police officer with a history of bad behavior with the department is now at the center of a new lawsuit. He's being blamed for crashing his unit into another car. News 13's Jeannie Nguyen is here with the lawsuit. Jeannie. Jackie John Hill was fired earlier this year from APD for a separate incident, but a new lawsuit claims he's to blame for crashing into a car seriously hurting a woman and her child. The woman suing claims the former police officer crashed his unit into the car she was in, causing it to flip at Unser and Sage. It happened back in December 2017. The woman suing was a passenger in the car scene on its side in this lapel video. The, the lawsuit claims Hill turned on his emergency lights as he approached the intersection of Sage going west. He, Hill did not have the green light. That's when she says he caused the crash with the gray Volkswagen. The driver of that vehicle told another officer on scene that he barely had time to react before Hill crashed into him. I'm coming through the light and I see people like on the turning lane side, but I'm like, they're stopped at a green light. Like, weird. Trying to kind of look at what the road name is and just boom. If Hill sounds familiar to you, that's because he was fired earlier this year for slamming a handcuffed inmate's head into a wall. The entire incident was caught on surveillance video. Hill pleaded no contest to misdemeanor battery and was sentenced to six months of probation and community service. After the crash, Hill fired, filed a lawsuit against the driver of the car he hit. I will have more details on that coming up tonight at 10. Jackie, back to you. Okay, thanks, Jeannie. Court records show if Hill follows all of the rules of his probation from that battery conviction, his record will be wiped clean.